Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain Leon today, along with... Host Matrix Kier, at your service. And welcome back to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for the fourth time. So... Yeah, I need to select the game, of course. <laughs> Often when often when we have games selected, they don't actually give off sound. Uh, but when we have games unselected, they typically don't give off sound. So <laughs> it keeps tripping me up with this one here. Okay. Uh, last time we beat them yet another den of evil, which we should have been able we should have four out of five done, I believe, or at least five according to Risky Boots and. Well, Skotel Town became Ammo Town for real. <laughs> Dear. It's, uh, we've already had this chat with him. Uh, he is talking about a targeting module that I do recall that we need to use one of his cannons. And yeah, he's talking about new recruits that never came back from the palace, so... Let's go investigate that after we check in with the <laughs> sky and the uh, rocky. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Barracuda Joe is still bloody there. Hello, uh, Bird. Like, Bowler is gone. The crews are gone. Uh, I kind of wonder if Bolo is behind the disappearance of the uh, recruits. Uh, I doubt that, and uh, yeah, now that we have the <laughs> Shine Spark, <laughs> we could just fuck off through all of this. And you forgot to stay. <laughs> you almost ran over the same guy! <laughs> what the? Yep, those were breakable blocks the entire time, man. Hello there. What the heck is that? Ah, yeah, he's still talking about his enchanted blade and uh, these two. <laughs> oh, look, it's Brandon. He secretly transformed this into Branson. He's a very popular hero all over the world. But where's his enchanted blade? What is that outfit? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the ammo baron made it. So what else would you expect? <laughs> oh, of course. Why am I staring at this totally buff, gorgeous loser? He's supposed to be Branson. Come on, guy, transform already. <laughs> Total ripoff. Okay, sounds like we might have to go find his blade then. Because if these two have the targeting module, f then, yeah, we need to get them back to work as well. <laughs> yeah, as I say, one of them looked... unexpectedly erotic. Again, it's the ammo bearer. What else would you expect? Also, if I remember correctly, shouldn't there be a hard squid around here? Oh no, we already collected that one. Okay. But uh, yeah, I guess we have to go back to Ten Line Island. <laughs> and yes, just for anyone who might have missed it, those are the two that we last met in the well, Saliva Islands. Taking a bath yeah. in, well, Saliva. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I thought they were just students or college students or something on a trip or a vacation, but yeah, they don't expect them to be part of the Amber Baron's troops. Well, if I if I remember yeah, if I remember slash have it correctly, they weren't actually recruits yet. They were just they became recruits once they came over here. Oh. So yeah, another thing to add to uh, Ammo Baron's list of crowns, possible child soldiers. I don't think those two are children. <laughs> well, they're young at least, probably 16, 17-ish. Like I said, it's Indian. Even 18 euros, 20 euros and 25 euros can be students. Yeah. Oh, and I only now just noticed that I still had my cursor on screen. And... You had? <laughs> Yeah, I, I it didn't was. Noticed. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it better against the lighter backgrounds. Yeah. There. Oh, it's a fly. 
And it's a lucky thing we did with Palin here, because this is actually where we need the the dash for this. To get through. Get the face! <laughs> uh, Shantae goes in a murder spree. Well, there's the blade. How the hell did it end up here? Good question. And back. <laughs> there really didn't need to be that many bats. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, we could... Let's... There we go. <laughs> Just waiting for the ping. Yeah, it's this so is going to make traversal so much easier. <laughs> though she can't run over Risky, though. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to find... Actually, I think I think I already know how we're going to get find one of the Cackle Bats here, so let's take a little detour for a bit. Back over here. Wait. Hello. There's a little cross space there. Use the sword. Use the sword all the way through. Nope. Okay, the hell did we... Okay. What? And we can't do that yet. Yet? You say? Yeah, we still have one more Den of Evil at least to clear out. But that shouting makes before she start doing that. Actually, I think I actually would be terrified on the, yeah. if I was in front of her coming uh, doing that. Yeah, with murder in her eyes, just charging at you at Mach Five. Yeah, like from here where I'm sitting, Lucian from the side looks both badass but also cute. <laughs> cute ass. <laughs> uh, Helian, <laughs> don't. <laughs> but as I said earlier, if I was in front of her doing that, I would bloody heck be terrified. Uh, the outfits on these two. Okay, Branson. Is that, is that the Enchanted Blade? You found it. Here you go. My blade. Now that, I, you know, yeah, now that I have it, I'd better make myself scarce. I'm pretty sure my good friend Branson is about to make a sudden appearance. <laughs> you already told... Everyone already knows that you are Branson. You can't freaking Clark Kent this bullshit anymore. Yeah, I think that's a Hema reference as well. Yeah. He's going to say the words. Hey guys, we should go get matching purses. No reason they should be just for ladies anymore. <laughs> Am I right, hey fellas? Don't leave, fellas. Come back. Wait, that's the. <laughs> he did say that word, the lines. Yeah, uh, th that's the one I feel that looks way unexpected and erotic. Look, says it. <laughs> yes, look, it, it's a one-piece swimsuit with a skirt whale past the hips. I just thought you were more going to talk about the other one who has a... Yeah, just a big-ass skirt and a tank top about her. It, it, it looks somewhat like a normal clothing. But this... It, it, it looks so unexpected in Rotterick, as I said. Unexpectedly. Anyways, it's Branson! Shout your battle cry. I gained the advantage. Uh, I have the power. Also, uh, <laughs> it's He-Man but blue. Blue man. He-Man but blue. <laughs> now then, only a trio of others are privy to my deception. The bold enchantress, man with guns, and the half mage. And now the. Well, make that six. 
<laughs> and now me, four. Right, four. So gotta reprotect Castle Boneface from the uncut legions of Grim Reaper's ghosts. <laughs> no, your adventures sound kind of cooler than mine. It Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind a game with this guy, most as just a, a, a complete '80s parody. You mean like a '80s spin-off? Yeah. I could see them do that. They are, and I'm also an excellent role model. Uh, at least not, but to, <laughs> to the very least, not for how to freaking dress. I'm not on account for my, of my bad temper and outlandish outfit. Out. You, Shante, are you even? You're, you're staying straight out of his freaking cross, and you're still saying that you're the inappropriately dressed one. Yeah, he was less than you, Shante. <laughs> this rumor, kid. It's not what's on the outside, thy skin and hair. It's one the in. It's what's on. It's what's on the inside that counts. A kind heart and blood and your guts. Uh, yeah, those are kind of important to <laughs> keep on freaking living. That's what, uh, that's what makes the whole body go round. Thanks, that means a lot, Brandon. You, you Brandon. Knock it off, you're the same guy, just with the jazzy halter top. Okay, show's over, get going. And remember, tell the truth and be true. Do yourself. Ah, uh, sweet, we saw it. Yeah, she, <laughs> she has even less clothing than the other one. Yeah, but it almost looks so much more normal. It's just a weird thing. Well, except the hat and... But yeah, the yeah, massive revolver. Like, you, you can see someone dressed like this in real life, uh, and one would bat an eye. But the other one... <laughs> she would probably be... Uh, yeah. <laughs> would you see someone walking around like this in town? Also, uh... That line. Yep, the Green Reaper's ghost will pay good money for his info. Let's head back to Ammo Baron before he notices we're missing. <laughs> See ya, girlfriend. Wait. That, the ghost from Saliva Island? You work for the Ammo Baron? Well, so much for Brandon. It... Wait. Is the grip. That's supposed to Is be the. the <laughs> Next to uh, the XP of Skeletor. No, no, I mean, more like, is that the other barrel we've defeated in the other game? I don't think so. I have no idea how to change back. Okay. <laughs> Still well, find her more badass. Yeah. However, I, I will then give the bonus point for being one of the few people that made a Cyclop hero into a human reference. <laughs> that, that, that got to give the game some points. I don't think there's many games where you actually play a Cyclops as the main character. Yeah, like, there's a game, a horror game, that you have a, I have to say, segment where you play as a Cyclop hero in a comic book frequency from someone's uh, memories, but again, that's just a frequency. Uh, do you mean? Yeah, Probably I not this, but Sanatorium? Might be. It's and really it's, old. I know. So might it's, be. Yeah, I saw a, a video on that recently. Sanatorium. It's a interesting old game, but the character in that I. I know it for at least he has four arms, but I'm not sure if he was actually well, a Cyclops or not. He had four arms and one eye. The planet was called mm. Cyclopia or something. Okay, then that, that was Sanatorium, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I see the playthrough from Manga Minx. Mm. I still need that targeting module and that good for nothing Barracuda Joe. Hey. Okay. Barracuda Joe is too good for you. Yeah. Uh, where the hell could that thing be, though? And, well... Joe is a bit, uh, entombed at the moment. Do you have any info or something? Hmm. 
No. Okay, you've already seen that. It, it, don't you mean Bolus is sleeping like a rock? No, yeah, that's Joe. I mean, Joe. Wait, what did I say? If, you know, that Bolo was sleeping like a rock. Out for love. I meant Joe. I meant Joe. <laughs> anyway, since we have no clue where else to go, let's go to the new island. This is it. Frostbite Island. End of the line. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Let's take the burning sand yeah. lava any day over this. We'll find the fifth and final den of evil here. If you can destroy the source of his power one last time, the pirate master will be finished. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right up. Yeah, slippery mm. slopes. Yeah, alright, I must have otherwise used the uh, sword rush, but did that ice will be us explode. What the heck? Okay. We have to be careful because they do deal a lot of damage here, and we are still low on healing while well, we're completely out of healing items. Uh let's actually go back and stock up a bit before we end up dying here. Yeah, maybe buy a winter coat? <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, uh, but, had she not lost her magic? I could imagine her using her magic to warm herself up. But now it feels odd that she doesn't have at least a winter coat. Well, I presume even in winter this place would be scorching hot. Here. Mm, true, and she did, like, did not expect to visit a icy mountain. Let's see. Okay, we can't actually buy any heal healing items except for auto potions. But auto potions is potions. good. Let's see. Let's buy some potions then, at the very least. Okay, and then... Yeah. And then to say, I'll buy some auto pauses for. Do we have any remaining still? Uh, I don't think we have any auto potions. I was just looking at if we have any well, upgrades we can still buy, but yeah, these are probably a bit more important for staying alive. <laughs> okay, we had one still, because we bought. We bought. No. I'm already drawing a blank on how many you we bought, freaking bought. You bought six. You bought six. Yeah. Okay, then we had one. Then we still had one. It, it was good I told you that for. Sure, having one auto potion is good, but it's just one. That that one could be used up accidentally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have to dodge these you know, wolves before we attack them because they they just keep going like that. So standing in front of them is suicide. Hmm. Hmm. Pardon? Nope. Ammo Baron. <laughs> What's he doing way out of here? Guess I'll just listen in. Blah blah, won't tolerate any more of your delays. Calm yourself, Baron. The weapon will be ready to fire, I promise you. But you can't rush art. Art? We're talking about a device that Kablamo turns villages into slag heaps. Shh, you worry too much. The weapon will function, I designed it myself. The palace will fall, and when it does, it will have complete control over all of Sequin Land. Sequin Land? Huh. <laughs> I won't stop there. The entire world would be my garage. Lock, load, shoot the core. Bushwa. <laughs> yes, yes. Why don't you return to that scuttle town where it's nice and cozy? I'll have the device sent to you the moment it's ready. You're stalling again, Techno Baron. Relax, my assistant has everything under control. 
Grumble, grumble. Module had better come soon. You there, peasant. Oops. Go ahead and check on my assistant. See what's taking him so long with that targeting module. Rough him up if you have to. He's in my new floating factory, Propeller Town. Really, you're just going to ask a complete stranger to go do your work for you? Hold on. Hold on, Eden. Let's take a moment to realize something here. The Baron was very strict about having the town under contract, only to betray the damn Empress. Or uh, mm -hmm. Sultana, I mean. Now, it's not really betray. It, all of this oh, has just been a ploy to assassinate the, uh, her so he can take control. He just needs yeah. to get him close enough to build a cannon to actually blow her to hell. Yeah. I wonder, what what do you think will happen if she gets to know about this before even the cannon arrives? Well, let's just say that if there is a royal army, that uh, they're going to be a royal pain in the ammo baron's ass. Mm. Ah. Uh, what the heck is he? No freaking clue. Oh, what dinosaur, but something is off with that idea. Yeah. Like, it's supposed to be a... Techno Cobalt? Check out these things again. Yeah, he's, he's some sort of... Uh, he's some sort of... You? Yeah. He's some sort of reptile at the very least. Yeah, he, he kind of looks out of place here. Okay, and potions are full restores. Okay. But yeah, we have our objective. Go get that targeting module and probably screw with it so the Ammo Baron's little plan falls to pieces. Hello. I didn't actually know they'd run back. Well, that changed your uh, plan, doesn't it? So sometimes it may be better to take them out. Especially yep. when they do that. Yeah, we can only take two more hits like that. So let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> Just blade poke on their skulls. Okay. It does work. And it keeps us safe from attack. It Safe from attack, and we immediately get hit by the freaking off screen bat. Uh. Really, you sent the bat flying. Uh. Send the bat back to off screen. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Eight. Uh, they take about 12 damage from the blade, or... Um, Hele, why don't you use Rush It? Yeah, I would if... The, oh, hello. If there was enough space to actually get a runoff for that. <laughs> oh... And that was a miss. <laughs> it, actually, something I never understand is... Why does usually some mobs and bosses always explode? Yeah, because why not? <laughs> and we can't go that way, or at least not from here. Let's see, can we get... Hmm, no, that's out of our reach. Is there some place that we missed or something? But yeah, it's it's generally more a uh, PG thing than watching them, <laughs> watching their corpse drop to the floor and bleed out. True, and probably and probably also at least back, especially back in earlier days, easier to animate than yeah, yeah, the uh, blood spilling. Let's see.
There we go. Just, just enough space <laughs> to get us started there. Don't. Hey, by the right. way, do I still sound cold to you? Mm, not really. Oh, that's good for it. I, I was it sounded like, like, like thinking the voice earlier today. Again, I, uh, of course, if it's for me and my mother, my mother got the, it the worst. I seem to. But it, it seems the cold struggled to uh, do anything with me. You gave the cold the cold? It's something. I, I guess it helps for that I you, have been having my windows wide open. But also been keeping myself to the bed with a winter blanket as well. So yeah. I'm keeping myself warm and cozy, but also keep my my part of the floor well ventilated with fresh air. Yeah, because if, if you're just in a sealed off room, breathing in the same uh, infected air that you're breathing out, then you're just going to stay sick. Yeah, and yet I even bought some uh, nose spray today, just in case. And I've been barely been. I, I've only been blowing my nose regularly amount compared to yesterday. Because I ended up me using a bucket as a temporarily garbage can. But I, 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 don't, I don't want to fill my table with snot paper. Yeah. Of <laughs> all the things to miss. But uh, yeah, here we are in Propeller Town. Holy! Uh, bloody heck, they are so damn good with the music. Uh, actually, have they ever done a 3D Shantae? Uh, no, there hasn't been a 3D Shantae. Okay, come on, that barely hit. And I'm not sure if it would work as a 3D game. It's certainly worth it shots to see if they can make something similar to like uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, they, like they, I can see them keeping animated, if I don't mind. That they could also do something, uh, do some uh, 3D one uh, that's still a platformer all. It would be interest. It would be an interesting experiment to say the least. Oh yeah. And hmm, actually, it'd probably be smart to have it as a spin off. Yeah. Like. Hmm, actually. Randomly, maybe the experiment. Uh, it should stay be set in this world. But maybe with Sky or Bolo? Maybe. Bolo would be. Bolo would have more a weapon that would be better designed for 3D combats. Since he could yeah. swing it around. Yeah, but Sky. That one you can be very experimental with. Since you can at you can have a bird attacking and help you doing puzzles. Yeah, and probably use range as a freaking club. That too. <laughs> oh, that would be utterly hilarious. Okay. Need to. There we go. Yeah, there were people think. Uh, there were people expecting Shantae to show up in uh, Smash in the Smash Bros. Ultimate as a, a fighter, which that would have been. Oh, uh, you lot again. Uh, that would have been her first 3D appearance, I th think. Um, I'm not sure if. I don't think she has ever been in any 3D games. Yeah, it... there are 3D fan animations, but not official ones. Yeah. And I just realized there's another character that we somehow just completely forgot that could make an excellent 3D spin off character. And that be Roddy Tops? Yes, Roddy Tops. Yeah, just Think a zombie. It. <laughs> yeah. It's not only she's a zombie, she has two brothers, and they live in a in a caravan. 
Yeah, they, they could Jimmy... use that to travel between worlds. Yep, and they need Kilford to stay sane and all that. Like, th th there's a lot of potential there, and I think she's also one of the many fan favorites. Yep. Enough so to the point that in the Kickstarter for the next uh, game, that an ex a new outfit for Roddy Tops was actually one of the stretch goals. Okay, there was all there for look. <laughs> it, it looked like fate. she fell through. Wait. Did that, did that thing just poop out a cannonball? Um, Hillian? Mm -hmm. I think its face is where you loot the cannonball into. <laughs> and its <laughs> neck, the back of the head, is the cannon. Or you could say it's walking backwards? Or no, the claws are facing forwards. Yeah. Ooh. This is one of the keys where you wonder... Like, you Ooh. almost is smart, only to realize it's a bad design. I gotta BRB quickly. Something but... is uh, not playing nice inside. So, yeah, pausing the timer. Uh, okay. And, come on. Stream deck.
Hey, I'm back. Uh, I'm back. Yeah. So, <laughs> sometimes nature calls, and other times uh, nature throws a brick through your window with the written demand to speak to the manager of your digestive tract. Good. Basically, what I had uh, last week. Uh, yeah, but enough of that. Let's continue on. Okay. Is that not that we have to go B or B middle stream? Yeah, like I think it's oh, it's I think it's happened less than five times total so far. Yeah, it, probably even less with me. Or, but, but I have taken a short B or B just to go around the corner to my kitchen. But rarely have been having to say B or B to go to the bathroom. I took an early <laughs> on habit of uh, going to the bathroom before the stream. Yeah, I Which tried to get things works. cleared up as well. <laughs> yeah, just... I think, <laughs> yeah, I think it was beginning of this week, last week, that did not work, apparently. Probably because I had been oh. drinking so much water that day. Actually... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I, I thought... <laughs> I uh, thought we needed to go up, not down. I, I don't think the bats expected that. Uh, oh no. You're working for the Techno Baron? <laughs> sure, why not? I've got glasses. He said I looked super smart, so he made me his assistant. Right, that Someone face. finally appreciates me. Right, that face, those gl- Is that you? No. I don't have blue hair or a banana. No, bandana, not banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think one of the reasons I have a habit of misspeaking like that is the fact that my tongue is too freaking big for my mouth because I have a. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's the opposite of an underbite, really, in that uh, my lower jaw is too small for my mouth, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the mental um, image, yes. Anyways, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Well, yeah, we're a thousand feet in the air. Look, I don't want to mess up on my first day. I just put the final touches on this doohickey. It's supposed to go to the Ammo Baron back in Skulltown. Techno Baron says it's super important. What's it do? I don't know. So what? You're my friend. You always have been. I can count on you, right? Here, take it. One targeting module that he managed to put together without even knowing what the hell it is. Uh oh. Well, oh, hello. Okay, pretty clear what to do here. Since it's not the distance that counts on the charts, it's just the amount of time running. And okay, they're actually tough enough to survive that. Yeah, okay. The of the thing that I am kind of skeptical about Bolo getting his own spin of a game. Yeah, he's a unless... bit of a, he's a bit dim. Yeah, unless the other fuse game puts a bit uh, some uh, progress with him. It doesn't look like a good idea to have him get the special like, like, sure, it could get him into some funny situation. Though with Bolo's current state, it probably be a bit way too chaotic to work a story with. Yeah, maybe the best idea would be a 3D game with, uh, yeah, not just Bolo, but uh, Party Tops as well. Maybe Shantae. Wait, um, I can see Bolo. And the sky, perhaps, but uh, do they get along? Bolo and uh, sky? Yeah. Then I guess they could work along. Otherwise, the, just I leave it's Roddy Top having a spin off game with her brothers. Yeah, that could be fun. The, yeah, with the wagon, like, it, it's already ready to be done, and I, let's be honest, we've seen Roddy Top's personality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I mean her pers actual personality, you parrots. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ed Edgar could be the uh, the strong one, Roddy Top's the agile one, and Poe the smart one. 
Uh, no, 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 no. Roll top to be the hyperactive one. Okay, we're probably going to have to end up regretting this. But yeah, we need to progress the story in one way or another. <laughs> the targeting module. Can I have it? The targeting module has arrived. This is awesome. Ow. Good work, citizen. And Do yeah, those two are working with the cannon up there. Hmm? But is there one else you could deny giving it to him? Probably, but we wouldn't be able to continue the story if we didn't. And the... Uh, yeah. Joe's still... <laughs> throwing us all hell. Yeah. If it's weird to be forced... to give him it... Alright, so we can stock up on some more potions. Like, so far I do think the game has a good story, but there are some elements I feel like... Why did they have to give it over when this mother's officer would not to do it? Then sure, then maybe then do you do it, suddenly don't have a boss fight, but... It just feels more stupid to hand it over when you already know what they're gonna do with it. Especially when the character already knows. Yeah, but uh, the ammo baron isn't exactly competent. <laughs> yeah, oh, he probably needs Bolo to... No, not Bolo, wait. Yo! Why am I mixing Bolo and you up? But they, they both have the same stare. Yeah, Actually, they... They... they both have blue, but then again, everyone in the Baron's armory have, has blue. Yeah, do... wait. Yo and Bolo actually have the same face expression. <laughs> The same eye, the same stare. And both look rather tired and laid back. Uh, hello, random cackle bat. Cackle, cackle, cackle. Also, I, I think I'm going to try and rip this animation out some way. Reason? Uh. Uh, it, it would it would just be fun and well if we ever get a donations thing going or something we could have that running whenever <laughs> someone gives anything. Uh, I can see that face. It's a, it's actually cute. Yeah. And with the with the top of the jam lamp open like that, it could function as a tip jar. <laughs> actually, let's just keep it as a lamp. For a tip jar could be. Misunderstood. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I just remembered something. Um, I think it's, it's soon they're releasing the new Monkey Island game. I think they were set to release it this uh, month, yeah? This month? Or something did, did like we that? Say, uh, did we say as quickly released after checking reviews we were to play it as fast as possible? Mm. Yeah, reviews can still take a, a week or two, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see when it releases again. And hopefully without any exclusivity bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I hope. Right, I, I think it's, it did not have exclusivity bullshit. I think it was to go to consoles and Steam and all that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, potion. Actually, okay, my, my memory serves me wrong, but I think it, it did not to appear on Epic Games. Okay. Only Steam <laughs> consoles, but not Epic Games. So okay. I, I could be wrong. I heard I hadn't heard anything about possible exclusivity, so I am guessing it is going to be openly available. Yeah, but, yeah. We'll we'll have to see how we do with that then. Yeah, like actually, we did say we were to plan to play Alone in the Dark during October. That as was a main plan, but maybe Monkey Island instead. Turds. 
And the eliminated dog was more your idea than anything else. <laughs> but we can give yeah. that his, his shots. Yeah, and it, it, just to have a... You know, many people do have a Halloween themed month for the games and all that. I thought, maybe we could try that for a little spooky month here. Maybe, yeah. And that's why Alone the Dog came up. Since if you use a guy to play through that, we could be able to finish one of the character or both. Probably is, well, we don't know the schedule of your job at that month, so. Yeah. It could be. We'll, we'll have to see how things go. Yeah, it could be a smooth breeze or a hassle for. But since if, if you had your old job still, it would, would be easy. stable enough. Yeah, it would be stable and easy enough to do. But just now it's a bit unpredictable. Yeah. Speaking of unpredictable, what do we actually have to do here? Because there doesn't seem to be a den of evil here. Or at least not in the ground where one would be expected. And we've already gone around here. Then again, we haven't found a map, so there could be more rooms hidden. Yeah. You didn't say uh, that. Where is it? Or is it? Oh no. Is there mm -hmm. the den of evil in the sky? Like a giant's sky castle? Like a sky giant? Uh, I doubt that. I think I would remember something like that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we'll have to keep looking around a bit more here. Hmm. I thought we were done with it after we yeah, got the targeting module from Bola, but apparently not. Hmm. Okay, just stay up top. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to check if there's any hidden rooms we might have missed. But nothing there. Hmm. And we need something for Barracuda Joe. And then Uh, let's let's do a loop of this place, and if we can't find anything new, uh, we'll take a peek at a guide as to what we might be missing, or what we're likely missing. That's the save room. Let's actually go there, because we're a bit low on health. Hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see where we can fit Return to Monkey Island in with uh, Shantae and such. Uh, I, I think uh, I think we should probably give priority to Shantae, so that at the very least any bugs and such can be fixed in the Monkey Island. Just give it a, a week or two. Probably a good idea. And, well, well, however mm, long it takes. Is it? I just I want sure, to go to would, would Monkey Island count as a spooky game? Well, the Chuck is a ghost. Yeah, there's many undead pirates, just... Would it count as spooky? Like, it's, it's never really built as a horror, really. Mm, not really, but... Oh well, we can... <laughs> we can cheat. <laughs> there we go. I, I do like the little whoosh sound as Jante goes, or at least starts up with the charge. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, that was just my failure completely and utterly. Something about donkeys and the same rock hitting... The... What? Yeah, there's a saying in Dutch that uh, a donkey doesn't hit the... Hit... Uh, don't hit their feet on the same uh, rock twice. And what did I just do? I hit the exact same thing in the exact same spot twice. Thus implying that I'm stupider than a mule. Do you need a hug? 
Mm, no. That would have landed. Uh, that would have landed Shante in the pit if I hadn't flipped her out of that. Okay. Then we even. No, we. Okay, we actually can drink. Uh, we actually can eat stuff or drink stuff whilst we're hanging from things. Nice little detail. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, sure, you could drink if you take off the cork with a thumb, but let's be honest. That might but not be easy with those kind of flask. For yeah. Those corks are meant to sit there easy, or not easy, just properly. Are you going to do anything at all? No, it just stomps around. <laughs> it looks like a Mega Man boss. Hmm. Kinda? Or not a Mega Man boss, but a Me Mega Man character. Yep. There is room above here for some for some for something. Hmm. Let's try approaching this from a different angle. By that I mean from below. <laughs> Wait, are you look what's past below? I'm pretty sure we checked there. Okay. Just Need a bit more... nope. Wait, the way those pads are placed... Yeah, it makes me think we need to bounce off of them to somewhere. And, oh wait, there's a there's an upper area there. Oh, so I was right, there was something over here then. Hmm... It's out of reach. Wait, can't you just... Uh, Pogo sword? Uh, Nothing to Pogo <laughs> up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did one of them just shoot the other? I think so. The Techno Baron has an interesting... Uh, yeah, design philosophy. Uh, wait, hold on. Bolo. <laughs> the breath up here is great for my fresh air. Um, uh, it's, it's the fresh air is great. Wait, no. For my fresh breath. Oh, also, where did the glasses go? D did you put them in the freaking boiler? Uh, Bolo. Hmm. Now that we don't get enough... We don't get enough altitude from that. So, let me do a double check. That I think I got stuck here for a while uh, when I originally played through this game as well. <clears throat> Let's see. Shante, Pirate's Curse, Propeller Town. Let's see. Let's see. Ta -ta. Stuck at Propeller Town. <laughs> Screw off with your cookies and bullshit. Hmm. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Found Bolo, gave the ammo bear another thing. One of them sold. Oh. Oh, we. We still have this one. Okay, so we don't actually have to do anything here. We need to go find Roddy Tops again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I'd completely forgotten about the lost soul. Okay. And we have found all of the cackle bats here. Okay, is there wait. anywhere here where we can get enough speed? Nope. The way these zombies scream. 
And they're not giving us enough time to charge. Oh uh, well. <clears throat> Hello, Pro. And on we go. Okay. Look who's back. So what's this up here about you and Rod Whiskey Boots? What? Uh huh. You're all high and mighty when it comes to us. But I suppose you can team up her, uh, with her and all's fine and dandy. I've got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. So it brings you all the way out here anyway. Oh, um... I found a place. The Village of Lost Souls. You don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I'm working on. None of your biz, sis. Aww. Anyway, I found the... Uh, I found this there. How cute, it's a wandering soul. It must have been separated from its body and can't, fi can't find its way home. Whose soul is it? Only one way to find out. I just need to trigger the right memories. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life. Something he'd never forget. Or true love, someone he or she will remember for all time. That look Roddy gives here. <laughs> or something embarrassing. Like, maybe he did diaper commercials as a child, and he still wears them because he missed <laughs> being in the spotlight. You're wrong. Who said that? Comfort and convenience ain't no, no crime. <laughs> Well, it's... Barracuda Joe? See, that wasn't so bad. Here, take his spirit back to him. He'll be up and about in no time. Well, assuming you kept the body. If not, I've got a few spares lying around. Roddy? <laughs> okay, I just noticed something that I was in the inventory. Wow, I can't believe it. It's not a big deal. Listen, Roddy. I met someone in the village of Lost Souls. Abner being... She explained some things to me and... Well... I just want to know that whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. Really? So thick and thin. No matter what. Big brother? I think she means it, sis. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have her for dinner? Roddy. Also, Roddy. Something, something of note. Uh, Edgar and Poe's eyes are completely yellow, but Roddy Tops has, well, white eyes with red pupils. It's the kind of garbage I'm talking about. Also, let's see, is it that spirit of Joe's got his fucking mustache? His fucking mustache. <laughs> Barracuda Joe in spirit form, he looks bored. Yeah, uh, just like Bolo and also, whatever you do, please don't put him in a cup. <laughs> Good luck returning that soul. Oh, a death mask. Hey, I could use this. I'll trade you this pirate flare. <laughs> okay, we didn't need that anymore. Was that a fair uh, trade? Yeah, uh, since we had no more use for the thing, probably. And now we can charge. Well, we could charge a bit. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> now I'm a bit curious. Who would win in a race, the carriage or Shante? Uh, yeah, you have to admit, Roddy Tops and her brothers would make a good spin of KB3D. Yeah. Ugh. And also, I think of all the characters, 
I don't think I, I heard too much fan out of uh, yeah. Sky and Bolo. Mostly, mostly, I'm not a fan of uh, Shantae, Roddy Tops, Risky Boots, and then Naga. Yeah. Okay, Joe, back at it. Whisper softly to Barracuda's Joe. <laughs> Awaken, sweet baby sunshine. Shante, get away from him. <clears throat> Rap? Leave him. He's an eternal testament to my status as a bachelorette. No way. I won't let you waste your life standing there. <laughs> that old man I destroyed. Should I even ask? <laughs> I give you Barracuda Joe. Spirit of Joe. <laughs> hmm. Barracuda Joe's alive. This is absolutely incredible. I. How did you accomplish this? Shante, you're the most amazing friend ever. I'll never question your judgment again. Um. Joe's had time to think. And uh, a lot of fish in the sea. And all that. Well, back to work. Yo! Well, I, Yo! I, think, I think he's just happy that he's back alive from one murder attempt by her father. <laughs> he's not going to risk another. Oh, poor Sky! Come back and marry me, you scumbag. <laughs> I'm gonna go too. See you, Sky. Let's go before she starts throwing eggs. Anyways, Kapow, we're all set. Thanks, girly. Got you finally decided to join the winning theme. Look, I even drew my own fan art of how your Ammo Town uniform would look. Uh-oh. That's... small. Pew pew. But first, I've got other business to take care of. Let's run down the checklist. Power at maximum. Aye, sir. Firing station. Finger on the trigger. And you're sure the targeting module is properly installed? She's up the code. Yep. Why did I suddenly go Sesame Street <laughs> voice there at the end? It ain't gonna miss. Meaning it's going to hit the target, right? Absolutely. Yeah, she's locked on the palace, sir. Wait, stop. You can't do this. There are people in the palace. You're gonna defend those mopey old bureaucratic busybodies? When you survive, I'll give him new jobs right here at the new Sequin Land HQ. <laughs> no. Fire, in, fire on my mark. Three, two, one. Firing Palace Disruptor Cannon. Ah, fresh cool air. The smell of victory fills my nostrils. When the Emma Baron destroys Sequin Land Palace, I will become incredibly wealthy. Even beyond my wildest dreams. Will create weapons even more terrible than before. Soon the real power in Sequin Land will be me. Me. The Techno Baron. There's one chubby green bird. Oh dear! And oh. It was Bolo's work. <laughs> Bolo. <laughs> Report. Shot fired successfully, sir. Yes, but the incorrect target was destroyed. How the fuck did you even see him from all the way here? <laughs> that face. <laughs> what? <laughs> We fired over Sequin Land Palace and blew a hole right through Frostbite Island. Who's responsible for his nightmare? Targeting modules hooked up right as rain. Then how? Problems right here. 
That right there is the main circuit panel. She's installed backwards. And upside down. And inside out. Hmm. Must have been whoever engineered the thing. Bolo. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bolo saved the day. How long till we can fire again? Gonna need to get a new module. Blast. Somebody find a Techno Baron. I'm not telling him. Hmm. Maybe it's time I checked out that hole. That line could be taken completely out of context. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Bolo's buffoonery actually saved the day this time. <sighs> and that opened up the path to the Den of Evil. <sighs> Can we do the charge here? Just, there's just enough time. I need to press exactly... There we go. <clears throat> okay, that was... Yeah. Since my stomach is still upset with something. Hmm. I think I have a fix for your stomach. I see, I just gonna... Just gonna find the baseball bat. Okay, the abandoned factory. The heck are you doing here? An ice drink? Or ice serpent? We, we would never see, get see the heads. Yeah. So it's hard to know is a drake, serpent, or what? Like, we don't know it's reptilian. <laughs> Okay, blue crabs this time. But they still blue go with one hit. <laughs> oh no, my... I think my bad joke backfired on myself. Mm, that's weird. No, imagine blue crabs playing on the drums. Nope. Okay. That would be a different crab rave. You, you have heard of the blue man group, right? Yep. Yeah, I tried to make a blue man crab joke. Oh, and immediately... Oh, okay, a key. Yeah, it's a bit early to find the item for this dungeon. Okay. And we just... Oh. Uh, I should have... I should have used the recover move earlier there. Okay. Oh dear. And also, there, there is not me know it is the Ammo Baron doing the uniform designs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, hello. And I can. I am bloody damn curious what the heck he designed for Shantae, for she did say that is rather small. So. Like, we seen what she wears, like, she's wearing pants at least, but yeah. for her to say small makes me concerned. Uh, e even then... <clears throat> Pardon? Uh, Shantae's pants are actually partially see-through, though it isn't actually shown in the... Okay, that blew, that blew up big. <laughs> that isn't actually shown in her sprite work. And it will probably be very difficult to do it, it, it well in sprite work. Oh, yeah. Probably it might be those things that be easier with the newer games and in 3D. Mm, yeah, it, it would probably make her sprite look odd as well. <laughs> the heck? Yeah. Uh, Eldritch Horrors? Oh, wait. Oh, I know. Oh, no. That's a Mulder of Madness reference. 
Okay. Well, they are in icy see... mountains. <laughs> yep. So see a mass of ice, which would probably be a shog of. The only misty thing missing here is eyeless albino penguins. <laughs> Damn it. And elder things. Or. Wait, I keep forgetting. Oh, wait, no. Oh. Oh, wait, no. No. The great race of Yif and the elder things are different. Yep. Forgot which one were in the Mount of Madness. Probably the great race of Yif, perhaps, or Elder Things. Whoever had three claws and lived in the ocean. Yeah, those were the, the Lith. Wait, we can. We can dodge backwards through platforms? What the hell happened? Oh, okay, I see. I accidentally hit the dodge button as we walked up, as Chante walked off the edge. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. That, that makes more sense. This is an abandoned factory. Yep. Who let the machine re on? Uh, probably the same one who forgot to, to turn up the stove. Oh dear. Okay, let's time this to the we were not squished under a block of ice. Oh, we're oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I caught me off guard. Yeah, big crabs. <sighs> And they, they, they were probably just a surprise at me. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, no. Well, for bigger crabs, we're going to need a bigger gun. Or in this case, Risky's Cannon. Yeah, we have a double jump now. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> it can only send us up three times, though. That, that animation! Oh, a key? <laughs> it was a key! For a moment I mistook for the Holy Grail. <laughs> she's, she's just plain ass riding this thing. Backwards even at that. <laughs> okay. And with that, we have all of the movement abilities, I believe. Get away from us, you perverts! Uh, <laughs> Come on! Did you just... Yes. Uh. What the heck are we supposed to do with it? You're going back there! We don't even have this thing behind. Okay. Just we, one I'm, jump to make up. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna need all the health we can get. Yeah. And, yeah, pretty obvious what these things do. They just give off blasts that travel around whatever surface they're on. Yeah, what does... Yeah. yeah, now we can actually save ourselves from near death like that. <clears throat> Ooh, when you shoot them, they close AI and... Shogoths. I'm kind of surprised to see a Love Crush reference here. Uh, let's get up, down... Actually, we, we could probably cross this with the cannon now. You can only fight it yeah, three not times, that much. so likely yeah. not. But we can still get a good distance. Okay, one. And there we go. 
How many do we have by now? We, it has been a bit since we found any. Okay, okay three. Yeah. See, it was good we went back to get it. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. This is probably I here for this. Maybe the sandwich sacrifice. Great, another one already. Yeah, okay, what is this here for then? Not for that, at the very least. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah, we, we can it get up here. Yeah, there, I know there's 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 another... there's... Actually, I don't know thing about it. How, many t how often do those game use the word red herring thing? Not too often. And that's our fourth heart squid. Nice. That means next time you go to back to the... Sequina land, we can upgrade your health. Yeah, the second land is the entire region. Scuttletown is the place. Oh, right. Scuttletown, thank you. Also. Okay, I was expecting that to have a full heal, though. But no. Okay. I have actually no idea at all what the boss for this place is. And oh, that's what. Okay, just on the treadmill for a bit, and there we... Correction. There we go. Okay. Now we just repeat that here, because there is something on the other side here. Yeah, <laughs> we, we flew a bit too close. Yes, so that Shantae hit the wall and didn't actually land. Nope. There we go. Jump. And there. Okay. And that's another key. Nice. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Yep, here we go. I think you need to rush into that. Alright. Can we pull off a slide with... I actually don't know if you can pull off a slide with the charge or not. And yeah, that's the factory done already, and there's a full heal. No, we can't slide. That Just would be interesting. Try and rush into it, for you might be able to do something and break something there. Nope. There is something in the way still that can be blocked. Wait, go in. Like, go in there again. Jump up. Nope. Let me jump up. Okay, what? That's what are we missing odd. here? Unless we. Wait. Hmm. I think. I think I saw a clue there. When you move away, the background becomes visible there. Oh wait, there's a pillar in the background, but wait. Is there a hole on the other side of that? No, just the wall. Hmm. Something is blocking the way that we can't get rid of. <clears throat> Yeah, well, yeah, let's give up on that and actually go face the boss. Steel maggot, patent pending. I was expecting worse. And yeah, first phase, very obvious what we need to do. We need to activate those buttons if this is the first phase. So, yep. Those hit pretty hard. I can't actually tell if that's damaging it or not. Oh, we we need to act we need to activate those in a certain order apparently. Okay, that makes things a bit tricky. Okay, so middle middle 
Back. And front. There we go. Oop, that slows it down so we can do this. <laughs> okay. Front. Oh, easy. Come here, you. That's a pretty big and obvious weakness built into this thing. Okay, one, three. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting real damn lucky on these. Come here, you. Damn it. Okay, at least it stays. Okay, nope. It's, it's easy, lucky enough that we can dodge underneath those. Not that one either. And the last so one. Front. Oh, back. I probably could have gone it. But there we go. That's the little sound. <laughs> yeah, it sounds so weird. Okay. Uh -oh. That's going to be a one, two, three. You almost made a little middle of there. Yeah, it was just one jump short. There we go. Easy enough. <clears throat> Victory drink of water. Lonely grave map. Oh yeah. That should be the last den of evil. But then why is there another ocean map? Ugh. I shouldn't waste time thinking about it. Yeah, let's let's do Shantae a favor. That face. She looks so happy. Could it actually be that the pirate flare is just basically Shantae calling for a risky boots, come get me. And then she just drags Shantae's ass all the way back or something. <laughs> Probably. You made it back in one piece. And with the cannon, just as I suspected. Yeah, we make a pretty good team. Maybe... Maybe what? I don't know. I thought maybe you change your mind and join the good guys for a change. Me join you? <laughs> You'd better focus on the task at hand. These five islands were the source of the pirate master, uh, pirate master's evil power. With his creatures and servants neutralized, we've got him on the ropes. It's time to deal the final blow. The genie sealed his bones in a tomb. The location is known to no one. If we could somehow find it... I did find this map. Let me see that. Incredible. This is really it. The secret location of the Pirate Master's grave. Come on, we're going to have a look. I guess that the news is something about risky boots. Hmm? If you look about under her eyes, it looks like she has sleepy marks. Like she had got the proper amount of sleep. Hmm. Could be. Generally, those are more uh, visible, or when they are intended. It could be a bit of you know, eyeshadow goes at the top, not the bottom. So, do has, does anyone have new info? Let's see. Mom says, <laughs> "Okay, no new dialogue then." <clears throat> oh, now I get the joke. Yeah. Okay, sadly, no new di dialogue. Oh, well. Okay. Now, with the cannon... We're still just short on that. But we should be able to fix that by doing this. There. 
there, and there. And that's plenty of distance. There's a boat here. Okay, that backfired. Oh, oh hello there in chat, and I'm all good. It's still a bit cold, but I'm already on the getting good way. Let's see, good evening, Ricky and Haley, and uh, how are you all? Yeah, doing well, mostly. And uh, how are you doing, uh, Sir Cell, aka Atrius? This insane amount of distance we can get with that, huh? Hey. Okay. Ah, that's say you're doing good as well. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're doing well as well. Well as well. It's Sir Shah, if that helps, by the way. Okay. Um, hmm. We are... where? We're basically at the end game of this game, but it does have a true ending for which we have to find all of the cackle bats. And there's still one in Scuttle Town, still one in Saliva Town, none there, four here, one there, and one there. And then, once we have all of those, we'll be heading for the Lonely Grave. Now, I'm going to take a bit of time to try and find these on my own but if it takes too long i will go look for a guide as to where they might be hidden yeah we did say we wanted to go for the true end if we once in this game yeah so it's a, a bit easier doable for this game compared to other games with true endings but you yeah. basically sometimes need to go into game plus to get the true ending. Uh, yeah, we have powered up quite a bit since we got all of the gear that we can get now. There are still some upgrades we can buy. Oop. Okay, that was one suicidal scarecrow. But for the most part, we are as strong as we can get at the moment. Let's He's turning into a pile of bones as you run through him. Holy. Let's see. I get the feeling that if there's a cackle bat, it'll probably be hidden up here somewhere. Oh, hello. And the hard squid is also nice. We just need to remember to, to turn these in for, heart, for health containers. Cannon Rider! I, I would. Does something tell me you do want to sit on a cannon as it's about to fire? <laughs> Probably. Like, I, I think characters do, uh, and actors do that on shows or such. However, just something tells me it's not gonna be pleasant. Yeah, those things have quite a bit of kick. Oop. Oh, just the palace again. <laughs> Okay, I think we heard something about a cackle bat being in the sewers. So let's actually go take a look around. And there's a one-eyed snakes. I think we can probably leave those flash pops behind, seeing as we have much better healing. <coughs> <coughs> But I see, I do have coughs, but they're extremely rare throughout the day. Let's see, do we have enough space here? Yes, we have enough space. Uh-oh. And yes, Helia has covered up a lot. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, we, we've we seen this before once before already, and now it's the second time that... A cackle bat will drop from this freaking ceiling if we hit specific areas with a, a full charge. Uh. 
Okay. That... That should be all of the cackle bats in uh, Scuttletown. Okay. Then let's go revisit every place, uh, every island in order. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Go back to the village and upgrade yeah. your health. Yeah, after we do that. <laughs> I do like the fact that it just ups its damage just by one tick each for every target that you hit. I just love how the saber just looks at you and turns around to you uh, and pause him. Hey, Shanti! Bye, Shanti! <laughs> they just act all that like it's normal to see Shanti running around with a sword. Uh, well, he's, he's probably ancient, so he's probably seen a lot of shit already. Okay, more animal cruelty. Okay. Uh, let's go visit the shop, stock up a bit. And then we head for the next island. There we go. Hmm. We should try and save up for the last few attack and upgrades. Okay. One cackle bat to be found here. And it could be anywhere, basically. Let's see, is this enough room? Not with the frog here, at least. But, uh, yeah, let's see. We still have about half an hour. Uh, in that time, I we can go look around for the last cackle bats. It should be only six of them now. No, seven. Ilian, look how much gems you have. Yeah, 69. <laughs> hmm. Uh, actually... Yeah, let's let's look up where they might be hidden because uh, this might be the last stream at this rate. Ac actually, if I remember, the the lonely grave isn't that uh, isn't just directly going to a boss fight. There, I think there is still an entire level before that, even though it's well supposed to be only a lonely grave. So I'm thinking in this in this stream we're going to look around for the cackle bats on our own still. And yeah, at least try to yeah. find as many as possible before the stream ends. Yeah, and then next time, next time we look up where the last remaining ones are, go find those, and then we go take on the boss. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Okay, we can actually run across water whales doing that. Hmm. Let's see there. We have been basically everywhere here, but it can be difficult to tell where something might be connected to another room. Since all the walls all seem the same. They don't have anything indicating that here's a door. Come on, there we go. Save that. Let's see, we have been to the left. Hmm. I don't think we'll be getting any more hints as to where there might be cackle bats. We have had a few. Like a... One of the NPCs in Scuttletown was talking about noises in the sewer. That was, well, the hint for the cackle bat there. <laughs> uh, since they won't be giving any more dialogue, or me? Hmm. Let, 
After we're done here, let's actually go back to Scuttle Town and talk to that old lady. She seemed... Maybe she had changes her dialogue depending on which uh, cackle bats we found or not. That'd be damn useful if she does. Or if any other uh, person changes uh, dialogue. Depending on how your uh, cackle bag... Get. Cackle... Bag? What? Cackle bat progress, I meant. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we already found a cackle bat in this spot. Oh, so that thing is still drooling over the smell of ham. Why did they leave the ham behind? Uh, probably because they were already squicked out enough from the finding out there were bathing in drool. Yeah, we should primarily be looking for areas that we couldn't access before. Something broke. Okay, there might... There must have been something there, but we might have gotten it already. You just broke it, so likely not. Uh, we couldn't make it... We couldn't move any further. Hmm. We'll have this to keep that weird. bit in mind. Okay, at least the mermaids have a long wind-up now with that attack. No, what, what are they doing? Get it, get it pumped up before they firing? No, we're taking aim. Stupid frog. Actually, yeah, just skip. Mm, this just loops back to the sarcophagus. Mm. Do we have any? No, we have no. <laughs> we have no clearance at all. Wait. To, to get so a charge going there. there. Where exactly did you mean? Uh, if you go back to the mermaids, the four mermaids, or oh, rather, rather the, the room before the four mermaids. Okay. Run straight forward. Uh, I don't know if we have enough space here for that, but let's give it a shot. Nope, not enough. You see why I get curious of that spot, don't you? Yeah, I was thinking that might be something as well, but yeah, we can't charge there. Wait, can we shoot with a cannon? Yeah, we can only fire the cannon downwards. Perhaps that's what we need to do in the other spot we found. Maybe. But it used to be weird if they just hit a, a small random hole that's the only one square deep that leads nowhere. So I'll just work our way back past the triplets again. We can just... We can just completely bully the crabs now with the cannon. I, I think I just realized one thing. Still managed to save that. Uh, I think this might be how we... How we're supposed to get past those bats in Propeller Town. Yeah, I... I, I... I also suggested that earlier, but yeah, distractions with everything else. Mm. I'm not sure. So, let's use 
up one of these since they're less val less costly than the auto potions. Uh, did, did you do you look? Uh, Weren't you to look up a guide from where it was? Yeah, for, for, the, for now we can try and find them on our own, and then the ones that we haven't found, we'll go look those up. Because some of them, I get the re feeling, are going to be pretty obscure. Like, uh, hmm. See, so what if we charge this way, since we have the space for it? Nothing. Hmm. Other direction, perhaps? Yeah, we already tried that. And there was another freaking ambush. More, another ambush bat. Bats. Enough to drive you batty. Boo. Nothing here. I'm pretty sure anything that the scimitar would break, that the cannon would also break. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea where this last cackle bat might be here. Or be here. Thank you. So yeah, we'll have to look up where that one's hidden. For now, we're done there. There are four to freaking find here. Yeah, our time will be much better spent here. <laughs> Okay. Let's... Bubble shields. And... Okay. It has been a bit since we've used items again, other than potions. Let's see. Anything we can find this way? Pedestal's getting in the way. There was a... Yep. Huh? It was, there was a water dripping from that corner. Does that mean anything? I don't think so. We could go check out later. But for now... Uh, the, the entire place is with, with, with waterfalls, so I don't think that's going to be a big thing. But this might be... Just enough to get charging. And here's number one of four. Also, I think that is a bit dark perhaps, is that uh, we are kill we are basically killing the <laughs> the Tinker Bats whilst we're doing that. Or at least it looks like it. Oh dear. Let's wait a moment. I think I remember something. There's no death marks coming from this one. That yeah, sneaky. Damn sneaky. I'm coming. I should stop doing that. There we go. It's number two of four. But uh, yeah, you can see how they can be pretty sneaky about where they hit they hide the tackle bats. This one less so. Okay, one there more. We go. 
There I very much doubt that it'll be in the palace, so it's probably hidden outside. There we go, that's a much easier way of dealing with those. I think it'll oh. be in there. When there was a hot screen there, and other loot. Hmm. Maybe we can use the sword. What did I tell you? There. Let's see. No special marks on this. I, I don't think we've seen Calico Bats in dungeons before, but I'm not sure. I'm hmm. sure. Now, for now, let's leave this place and see if we missed anything outside. Okay, for a moment I thought there weren't the, the skulls coming from that bit of sand. Same! I was to ask you about that. Wait, there's no like... skulls from those. Oh, Wait, what? Okay. Oh, I think what happened was a visual glitch. Yeah, they... <laughs> they weren't showing up to... There, there. There's a slight delay for some reason. Okay. Hmm. Go. Hmm. Okay, where could this last one be hidden then? Okay, there's a bit of the map still uncovered there. That actually sped us back here. Okay, let's you take mean a look. The not uncovered, you mean? Mm, yeah, not uncovered. Now it is, so there was nothing hidden there. Mm. Nothing there. I hope she feels alright after doing that. I, I, I have doubts it will be heavy before your pelvis bone. Yep. Hmm. Then everyone needs the pelvis bone intact. Everyone. Is it going it's to be in this a... stupid place? I don't know. Don't know. The problem is basically the way our legs are connected to. Break that and good luck walking. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I doubt it will be in here, but since this is a bloody maze. Wait. Have we seen one in here actually? Could be, yeah. And there is that little, the last square there that's uncovered, that, that's still hidden, if that is a room. Hmm. No, there's no room there, at least not accessible from this place. <laughs> it seems that the princess is out for groceries again. Yep, actually... Yeah. There was, this, there was this one in here that we killed all the way back, like, two or three streams ago. Yeah, we probably forgot to take up this magic incense because they had to confiscate that little lamp. 
Yeah. Okay, that is this place done. So... Glass can be used here, okay. There we go. Was that all of them? That should be all of them here. Well, then let's see if that's true. It is true. Okay, that was a good amount of progress. And let's I'm see, was it you? Maybe? Nice boots. Have you tried ramming into ice cliffs at high speeds? It's a great way to shake. Okay. Yeah, she was the one giving uh, tips, I believe. Okay. Well, I need one more squid. Oops, well, two more squids. Yep. Uh, let's see. There we go. Stock up on that. Stock up on those. And let's see, how much do we need? Okay, need 300 for the last silky cream for faster attacks. And then there's, well, pistol and skin scimitar upgrades, but I don't think those will be too useful for combat. This power kick, I don't know what the hell that might be. That you, it should be good to force to form for it. Maybe it's more correct to call it grind. Yeah, uh, I don't think it'll be too useful, but uh, we'll see if we can find some time to <clears throat> to get it or not. Yeah, for you, you, you don't know what it is yourself after all. Yeah. Okay, the hint was to hit some ice walls. So let's charge wherever we can. Actually. We can probably make the jump to there. So... Hmm. Let's see, is this long enough? Just barely. But uh, let's do it at the start here. Since we know that we have more than enough <laughs> runway here. There we go. Nothing there. Okay. It, it is going to be annoying if we're going to have to hit every bloody wall in this place. No okay. <laughs> that was a frame to stop on. What's well, so you have six to nine? <laughs> Just what the heck, Helian? This way? Actually... Okay, not split right. that one. It sounded like you broke something. Uh, there was, that was the graves we were crushing. Oh. There we go. Why the hell is, does that have a flash pop? Yeah. Okay. Just short. Okay, not there. Hmm. I'm stupid. Wolf responds. Okay, jump. Okay, that was just gems, though. Okay. Hmm. I get the feeling at least one of these cackle bats is going to be annoying enough that we have to keep the rush going for quite a while. Possibly across multiple rooms. 
Maybe you should have saved, considering uh, how much time you have remaining. Yeah, we can easily go back to him there. Hmm. So what can we hit over here? I get the feeling maybe that wall? So it's just these little hops to keep the jump going, to keep it going. That runway is too short for that. So let's find somewhere else. Maybe here? Not with the wolf, at least. Nope. Hmm. Okay, I can think of two places at the moment. One of them is... Okay, not that one then. Okay, then it's the next. Okay. One, two... One too many, actually. Yeah, because that ends up here. Okay. But we do know now that we can get a charge off there. at the map. Okay, there's still a bit missing in the yeah. start there. Well, that's what I reacted to. It could be nothing, Wait. or it could be something. Huh? I, I think I just noticed something with the wolves in their defeated pose. So? Let's take a good look when we... They look more human. Are these snow werewolves or something? Maybe? That's a new one. Okay. One, two... Okay. No on that then. Uh, actually, we almost hit that before. But, uh, yeah, they, they look like snow werewolves. Okay. Hmm. What other wall could we be running into then? Yeah, we just did mention that uh, Atreus. So yeah, we all then all on the same page. Maybe a wall that is facing the other way. We need to uh, break. Wait, wait. Bring up the map. Yeah, they're, they're snow werewolves. Okay, not that wall. There's a bit missing there as well. Let's see. Let's head back to the other zone. Yeah, but we have a way to get up, at least. I don't think we'll find a cackle bat there, but it's worth a look anyways. Yeah, but it could be something else. Yeah, nothing... okay. As well, it, at least moving the check there means we at least have a area checked off. And off we go. This charges us so much, makes going around so, out so much easier. Ah, I think I'm hearing thunder. The crawling noise. Yeah. It just <laughs> never stops being. Yeah. Nothing there either. Hmm. Could it be the dungeon? 
So, dann. What? The ambush. Yeah. What is over this way? Okay, and how do we get to that? Oh, that just brings us back here. Which we can just barely get out through that. Okay, just the shortcuts back and front. Let's see. Yeah, but still, there's a chest we don't know how to get to that. This is curious. Actually, I think I see where. Or not. Okay, the masonry looks damaged there. Hmm. Yeah, but a chest won't hold a cackle bat, though. Actually, let's do one little look here again. Hmm. Okay. No uh, illusionary walls there. Uh, we do have another platform there, though, a pie here. That could be worth investigating. That one. Oh, for love of. Yeah, nothing there, it seems. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, hmm. Then I have no idea what bloody wall we need to destroy. <laughs> we need to hit to get the stupid bat to show up. We know it's a wall. And she said, nice boots. Yeah, that, because we can do the charge because of Risky's boots. Could it be that little bit there? Yep. We have only a few minutes left. So let's at least try to ram as many walls we can on the way back to Risky. It, uh, you had the overtime due to uh, your bathroom visit. Yeah. And that's calculated in with it. I think we're back at the start. Okay, I have no idea which bloody wall we need to hit there. Hmm. And it's okay, the last that... one. One, two, three left. Okay. Wait, did you count that right? Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's head back to Skulletown for a moment. And uh, let's see, is, Bo is Bolo back? Bolo's not back. Okay, so I, I guess we lost him to the Techno Baron. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll look up where those last three are supposed to be then. And yeah, next time we can go find them and, well, head for the last, uh, yeah, for the last island in this game. Nice. Okay, and after that, we'll be moving on to the fourth Shantae game. But for now, let's go find the save guy. I noticed a little smudge on my screen. I'll have to clean that up. Actually, let's, let's do a quick double check. Okay, yeah, no new text. A bit, a bit disappointing, but they've already made a, added a ton of text already between all the other dungeons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Let's head on out. And we're going to look for someone to raid, then.
So let me open up the Twitter browser. Twitter address? <laughs> no. It's but he's calling himself Sir Shu or something now. So or Sir Sun. It was, yeah, I guess if it's the Sir. Probably means he's noble and rich. Uh, let's see who is on. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Shanker Crab is online playing Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon or Ultra Moon. Don't know which version. <clears throat> Then we have the Digital Hazard, who is streaming Digimon Adventure. Uh, Yugi and Bushido, who is streaming Battle Brothers. Sprigleaf, who is streaming Moonbreaker. Oh, that's the timer going off. And let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Real Soviet Bear streaming Resident Evil 2. And those are most of the smaller streamers going on at the moment. And if there's something interesting... Digimon Adventure... Wait. Is there even a game called Digimon Adventure? Ain't that the series? Okay, taking a look and you know, it is a game. Alright, so they are not live streaming a series then. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's a... Maybe it's a Pokemon version of like the first Digimon story or something. Possible. Mm. Possible. Yeah. And you've... Any of those sound interesting, or shall I name a few bigger ones? Uh, let's name a few bigger ones. Let's see. Looking at 50 viewers and plus, we have Halloween4545, who is streaming The Forest. And uh, I, re I remembered who they were. They're, they're a friend of Kikoski, a, a YouTuber I've been watching since, like, 28, you know, 2008. Okay. And also, The Forest is getting a sequel soon. Okay. The uh, Son of Forest, I think. Uh, Son of Forest. We have that comrade Zimmer Zimmerman, who's streaming Bioshock 2 Remastered. Uh, let's not do that. That's a quiz show. That can't be too interesting. Uh, Slytherin TV, who is streaming Combat Mission Cold War. And let's see. WBPL76 uh, is streaming Metro Exodus. And Kikoski is actually online at the moment, streaming Might and Magic 10. Might and Magic 10? Yep. 10? What? Well, I any of those... did not <laughs> know they had reached that high number. <laughs> okay, yeah, any of those sound interesting, or shall we leave this raidless for now? Or actually, if we're if none of those sentiment really interesting, we can uh, go raid Shanker Crab. You know, Shanker uh, Crab, whoever. By the way, uh, raid the crab. Okay, site is muted. Copy name. Oh, it seems they're just starting still. Actually, the moment I said that, they swapped from their pre-screen <laughs> to the full uh, to the stream. So good timing there. Surprise. Okay. Slash raid. Paste. Yep, that's I will load the gremlin ready. cannons. Okay. Uh, but before I start that off, because we've had a habit of starting those too soon, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Atreus, or slash Sursa, for hanging around and sitting along a bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And uh, thank you as always as well, Rakir. Oh, you're most welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, I have the coming weekend off, so we can actually stream a few more times uh, on both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we could do we could do Minecraft tomorrow and then showcase Sunday on Sunday, and maybe if we want to, we can even do a late stream on Sunday as well. And if that's something interesting, okay, it does sound interesting to me. Uh, I haven't been able to add too much in Minecraft, but I have been able. I have been working on a design that I might try to build. For now, though, oh uh, have a have a good night as well, Sir Tia. And let's start this raid. Oh wait, okay, he <laughs> did a bit wonky there. There we go. Slash raid start. And uh, yeah, thank you, anyone else who is watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, or watch out for gremlins.